gonna get into the fridge. The light just helps me figure out where I'm going in life and it just guides me to usually the kitchen. I'm Max Mana, and today we're making crispy tofu and egg noodles. This is one of my favorite meals to make. I probably make this two or three times a week because it's just a recipe that I can make really quickly. I don't have to think about it. The first thing that I like to do in this recipe is to take my tofu, slice them into slices, and then some paper towel, give them a quick little pat and dry. Removing the excess water will give the tofu a nice crunchy nugget because we're gonna crumble it all together. We don't want it to be soggy. I'm just gonna leave that there for now. There's two sauces to this recipe. The first one we're gonna make is for the tofu. So a bit of baharat. It's just like a really nice, lovely warming spice. Smoked paprika, some sh maple syrup. Maple syrup. Tamari. Take this lid off. Nope, come on. You got it. You gotta get out. Ah, there we go. Whew. Tamari. Olive oil. Black pepper. And we swisk. Look at that. Check that out. Look at that. Lovely. Ooh. Lovely sauce. Now, it's time to get funky. We're just gonna squeeze our tofu and let it just crumble in there. And it doesn't matter the size of it, it's gonna all be different shapes, different sizes. You can let this marinate overnight if you know that you're gonna make this in advance. You just wanna get this coated in our saucy. Yeah, it's a big, it is a big spoon. A big spoon for a big moment. <laughs> Some olive oil to the tray. Spread on the baking sheet. We're gonna get a nice even bake. A little bit of olive oil because I want to. Okay, in the oven it goes. Next, a saucepan, fill it with water. And this is gonna be for our noodles. As that heats up, get an empty container, a jar, a big tablespoon of peanut butter, sesame oil. You can use this sauce really for like any kind of, I would just put it on any kind of like noodle dish. Tamari, have I done maple syrup? No, I haven't. Just a little splashy, splash, and a little bit of heat. Nutty, salty, sweet, creamy, crunchy, spicy, and then you shaky. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Yeah. Moving on. Broccoli stalks. And then I will go and get some garden peas. Let's start with the broccoli stems. All broccoli stems are created differently, but they're equal, right? The broccoli stalk can grow to be like five feet tall. What are they doing with the other parts of the broccoli stalk? That's what I want to know. I want to see a five foot long broccoli stalk. Yeah. Use that as a cane, a walking stick. <laughs> You can use it as a, when you're doing limbo. With the broccoli stalk, I'm just gonna remove this part. It's quite woody. I kind of just cut it into quarters and just do like a rough chop. I like broccoli stalks in my meals. I don't throw them away. And it is one of those ingredients that people I think often throw away. Do you throw away broccoli stalks? No, man. You're not stalkers? Okay, broccoli stalks in the water and Frozen peas. Next, for the noodles, I'm using bucatini. I'm doing this because if you ever had a bucatini, it's actually, there's like a hollow hole through it. And so it's like a straw, like someone once said, it's like eating a soft straw. Ooh. What's great about this dish is that it doesn't matter if you don't have noodles, like ramen or soba or udon, like, you probably have pasta laying around. This works with any long pasta. I need to check out my tofu. Whoa. She's a crispy. It, I mean, it's nowhere near, nowhere near complete. 
We'll take a short break. See you after the commercial. We're good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm ready. All right, I think our pasta is there. Yep. Mm -hmm. The secret ingredient to making this dish eggy is bicarbonate of soda. Sponsored by, not sponsored by. Watch this. Bing bong. Whoa. It's time to get crispy, crispy, crispy. Do you see that? Look at that. Crunchy. Crunchy tofu. After your peas and your broccoli stem have cooked in the water, just give it a quick, I mean, you just gotta strain them. There's nothing too hard about that. Noodle time. We're just putting everything together now. Doesn't get much simpler than this. Our eggy noodles. Ah, get in there. Peas, broccoli stems, and some crispy, crunchy tofu. The great thing about this dish is that you can use whatever pasta you have. You can use any type of green vegetables you have. You can use spinach, kale, Brussels sprouts if you so desire. And it's super versatile, super easy. And I love this dish. And the last, but not least, peanut butter sauce. Yeah. And some fresh chives. Don't know how to end this video without just like taking a big old bite. You need to throw this into your life. Have this dish, enjoy. We'll do this once and one time only. You'll never see this happen again. <laughs> Ceiling. Nope. No, just, oh, it's not, it's not ready. It's not ready if it's not sticking, it's not ready. No food was wasted in the making of this video.